Welcome to a journey back in time to the year 122 AD. We find ourselves in Northern Britain, where the Roman Emperor Hadrian, unlike his predecessors, is more focused on consolidation rather than expansion. He embarks on travels around his empire, visiting frontiers far and wide. One such frontier is here, where he orders the construction of his famous wall. Hadrian was not an emperor confined to Rome. He was a soldier at heart, on the move, appreciative of Greek culture and known for his consolidation efforts. He was content with the empire's borders and focused on strengthening them. And here lies the wall, a testament to Roman engineering and Hadrian's vision. Its impressive masonry, at least 12 feet high and 3 meters thick, stretches across Britain from Walsend in the east to the Solway Firth in the west. But why was it built? The literature suggests it was to separate the Romans from the barbarians. Yet the true intentions remain clouded in history. Was it a mark of consolidation by Hadrian? Was it a symbol of the empire's northwestern edge? The answers continue to fascinate historians and visitors alike as we delve deeper into the past, uncovering the secrets of this far-flung Roman frontier.